que bola, guan guan, que lo que, y a y best friends, bienvenida parata, welcome black, black is for expansion, for those of you who are returning, for those of you who are new, bienvenida, welcome to my channel, Becoming Wise Galleril, following my soul vibe, I am a real journey in these social media streets, the rare black alicorn on my channel, I talk about a lot of your soul energy. So you can understand the, your own personal souls by, by talking about the surrounding energy and where we are being pushed collectively, but how to use and utilize it and for where you are at on your own energetic path, meaning your goals, your dreams, your desires, um, things you want to overcome, triumph over, and so on and so on. Okay, um, so let's get into another high vibrational, intergalactic, galactic, motivational soul contract conversation. Happy Tuesday, June 13th. For those of you who are new, we are on our journey right now in the sixth astrological house, which is all about health and services. Pretty much Physically, as a collective, we are all being pushed to look at um, our day-to-day -day routines, rituals, habits, things that we use that we feed into ourselves that um, help us in some type of way, shape, or form um, to be a better version of self. Of course, right, right. So with that being said, you can't do that excuse me, until you have an understanding of what it is you're doing, why you're doing it, and um, and so forth and so on. And of course, as I always say, everything starts from within what? The mind, understanding your mentality and your emotional states of being, aka your masculine energy and your feminine energy, divine energy. So, with that being said, today, as I said, is Juneteenth. For those of you who celebrate Juneteenth, happy Juneteenth to you. You know what I mean? To me. But and stuff, I think it's a propaganda um type thing. But to each his own. But for those of you who do, happy Juneteenth to you all. And um respectfully saying, you know, not to be funny, but respectfully saying, and today is Tuesday, so we currently are working with the Aries waning crescent moon energy. And also with it being the 13th is death card energy, tarot card energy. So we have a combination of um, Scorpio, Scorpio, what is death card? Scorp, Scorp, Scorpio is death. What's the element for the death card? I can't remember. Water, duh. <laughs> so Scorpio is fixed water, is a fixed water element. And I mean, fixed water and it's Scorpio. So it's all about us gaining stability in our emotions, which is understandable because in order to transcend, you have to understand, um, you have to um, gain stability, you know, anchor yourself because Scorpio energy is could be tur turbulent. Um, it's a lot. I've got a whole lot of like high sexuality between our upper divine feminine realms, meaning our emotional bodies and then us and our lowest um, physical limited aspects connection because before I pulled when I was pulling cards or after I pulled cards I heard I kissed the girl and I liked it and so so it made me think about um just the divine feminine and creativity and us um understanding our own internal needs but from a higher perspective meaning you have emotional you have the mentality to understand the roots of your emotions and why you do what you do um, when it comes to your day to day life and how you live your life and the experiences that you seek and desire, as well as the experiences that you're growing out of. Because remember, we're uh, entering 
um, a new moon season, which will be in cancer. So it's going to be all about new beginnings in your emotional body where you took action, where you took action in is where you took action in your physical realm reflective of is reflective and in alignment to the healthy messages that your higher and highest self is trying to tell you to do. You know, are you reenacting? Are you healthily aligned with your desires is what I got, especially with it being Tuesday, because it's all about Mars energy as well, which is about your plans and what type of plans are you going into? OK, I'm going to stop there. Let's get into the tarot. I was the tarot reading. I was pulled to already pull cards today. So today we have this Kalima message in reverse and it's um Kalika Tantrica. And it says, Kali overcomes karma, realigns us with our path when we have veered off course, reverses the momentum of negativity and detaches draining energy cords, restoring us to full vitality. It may seem like your will is being throttled or you are not getting what you want, but the goddess knows what she's doing. Her actions will benefit you. Trust. Oops, sorry. And at the bottom of the deck of the Kalima, um, it says, face your fears for it is the right time and you are ready to overcome them. You will be given the power to fulfill your heart's desires. Embrace your path with confidence. Healing around belonging and abundance is taking place within your soul. You are spiritually protected from toxic energies. Recognize your inner divine badass and commit to your dreams with conviction. Yeah, so I'm getting like this kind of goes back to last Thursday or Friday when um I was talking about one second. Okay. So um as I was saying, that reminded me of last week when I was talking about so in one of those days, either Thursday or Friday, I was talking about like it came out in the reading about going against the grain, going against your root, going against um the educational background that you know and are conscious of of yourself that you've been using as your source and as well as your resources, you know. As far as understanding yourself, you know, like pretty much rewiring and reconfiguring your your life. That's what um, the Sagittarius full moon, like the overall purpose from my understanding, you know, um, thus far, the whole purpose of it as for us as a collective is to change directions. You know, that was the consciousness that it brought at the end when, yeah, on the ninth was that Thursday Friday, I can't remember, but whatever day, because that was the type of wisdom that we all in some type of way, shape or form was uh, being pushed to be consciously aware of and to move forward and to understand in order to move, understand on the 10th, when the 10th came around, what type of cycles we were transitioning and transpiring out of and into and what type of energy we were observing, absorbing based off our, our mental, emotional, audio, I'm hearing taste, like all our clears, all our clears as well as our basic senses because your clears is like your extra, extraterrestrial senses. You know, you got your clear audience, your clear sentience, your clairvoyance, your clear uh, Augustans, and I can't remember the other ones. But and then you have feel like actually touch, um, feel as in emotions, taste, audio, so and sight stuff like that. So it's like, okay, how are you cycling out of old ways and into higher? understanding of how you work on a much higher energetic perspective how are you aligning your soul which is why which is what i'm 
getting as far as the death card it's like the transitions what are you trying to transition out of from your highest understanding of what it is you intake into um into a more stable stable energetic states of being as well as therefore physical states of being you know not being um not being fearful of it because sometimes we want to obtain certain things in life i'm hearing but because you don't have the educational background whatever they may be you know about self first and foremost you is you it creates fear and doubt because it's like you don't know what it is you're exactly getting into you just know that you want it and when it happens or whatnot it's like oh sh what I'm here. I made it, you know, and stuff. But just know that, um, what's it say? That once it, okay, I'm hearing muscle. Okay, I'm hearing for some people, it's fear and doubt that keeps you from obtaining it. And that's what we're, you're currently being pushed to release. And then others, it's because you didn't obtain the educational background. Either way, you still need to educate yourself about self as far as understanding yourself, you know, and where you're at in your life, period. And I'm just going to keep it at that because now it's, it's, it's a lot of different messages coming in that's, and it's making me a little confused and I'm getting off track. But anyway, moving forward, knowing that this came out in reverse out of my self-love deck and it says accept responsibility for your own life know it's you who will get you where you want to go no one else period so like i said that reminds me when it comes to transitions when you want to see an end to something you can't expect anybody else to um i'm hearing two different things you can't a you can't expect others to help you because that's not their responsibility and then to this that this energy is kind of like straightforward and stuff but that is scorpio energy like divine feminine energy it just doesn't play it's it could be a little cutthroat you know because that's what i'm getting a little bit like a little sassiness somebody might be in a sassy energy it might make you sassy because it's because like like i said it's very high vibrational with this being scorpio energy energy ruling the day and then it's mixed with the aries wane and crescent moon still so it's a lot of high action high creation co-creation energy it's just like divine feminine energy is present for everyone so and and when it comes to ending things and transition which is what the death card represents that can create like i said that straightforward gutsy sassiness because and i'm getting frustration too because of the simple fact that sometimes we fight ourselves and we don't even realize it you know so you have to accept the fact that at the end of the day regardless if you're consciously aware or unconsciously aware it's you who's going to get you to where you need to go not nobody else it's nobody else's responsibility that's what the higher like somebody that's like this to me is like more straightforward to some of y'all. You know, some of y'all needed to hear that <laughs> and stuff. And then also on the side, and this is facing to the right. It says a house is not a home if you're with someone who does not care about you. That So that goes hand in hand with the message. With this being in reverse, it's like, like I said, that's a message for some of us that needs to hear that. And then with this facing the, um the uh oh no it's not facing the right it's facing the left which is masculine energy that's a lesson that some of us need to learn sometimes we want certain things to happen in our lives and stuff and it's like our higher selves is like this is no longer for you you can't go with that person or that person can't go with you you can't take them and they don't want to go they're not ready for it and or you're not ready for where it is y'all pretty much y'all not in alignment or this um, certain mental state of being and this emotional state these emotions that's a st attached to those states of beings it's like you got to release that ergo sometimes releasing other people physically you know because some kind con the contracts certain contracts have to die off you know in order to move forward 
One second. Okay, I'm back. Y'all didn't even know I left. I don't know if y'all heard it, but um, it was an alarm going off in the background. So I'm like, let me go turn this off. But um, you know, that could be a, a confirmation for somebody. Like, oh, like I said, it's like we when I was talking about our higher selves and and transitioning. Sometimes we have alarms going off in our head, and we don't even realize it that that hey, we're being pushed to go in a certain states of existence within within our lives to activate certain contracts that we desire a higher more stable contracts but it's all once again depending upon your understanding of what it takes um what it takes to get there and it's, it's really truly calling in helping you to actually operate in a healthy alignment of peace and with peace from within yourself. That's what I'm getting kind of big piggybacking off of yesterday being the 12th. And um, that brings me to the next card that had came out, which is the six of coins, which is um, typically known as the six of pentacles. Now, the six is ruled by lovers energy. You know, Pentacles is all about health and money. So, and with it being ruled by the lover's energy, that's Gemini energy, that's mutable energy, that's air energy. So it's like, okay, once again, your mentality, your internal communication. So, and lover's card is all about your choices. You know, are you picking to be on one side or the other? Because on the lover's card, on a traditional tarot deck, the lover's card is a picture of the tree of life like the tree of life i think it is but it's the tree in the background which represents if i'm remembering correctly the tree of life and then it's the feminine it's a female on one side and it's a masculine on the other side and pretty much is they represent your divine feminine energy which is your emotional body and how you nurture yourself and take care of yourself and mother yourself and then your masculine energy which is your thought processes your mentality and as far as being logical when you're when and while you're nurturing yourself so that way you can create the energy that you need to be healthy because pentacles is all about is all about your money and your and your um and your in the physical perspective so it's like okay well when you honestly are at peace your money's good. You know, when you're worried about your money, your energy, your energy is off, you know? So it's like, okay, well, what are you really doing? What are you sacrificing? You know, what are you aligning to? Are you aligning more to your problems and stuff, which is creating more stagnation, stagnation, or are you aligning to, um, I'm hearing the word resolute resolutions, especially with this coming out in reverse and stuff because the um because swords is all about problems and challenges and so but you have to understand the nature behind what why you're having those ex types of experiences in, in your life and the choices that you made that you said okay I, I that you associated some type of emotional backing to it to as your way of expressing your love i'm getting an example of like when it comes to um of me like okay back in the day i like i used to work a lot of overtime like a lot of overtime and that it, it overall though it made i made money and it of course helped me take care of what I needed to take care of but at the end of the day it added to all the crazy chaotic stuff that was going on in my head adding to my the mental emotional issues that I was having at that time so overall it was like a temporary fix and that's what like what I'm getting like today energetically as a collective we're being pushed to stop going with with resolutions i'm hearing the word resolute resolutions i can't remember what resolute mean it's like saying ultimate kind of 
I can't remember, but I'm going to look that up in a little bit. But like going with resolute resolutions, that's actually like temporary fixes to gain to gain money, like to and stuff. We're basing it off like temporary energies like this. We're not realizing like, OK, the stress that we feel right now, that's temporary. It doesn't mean that, of course, it's not going to last forever. So whatever you, however you respond, therefore, act, react, react, relive out of that type of energetic contract of emotional states of being, then you're going to, is it like really creating um, true stability or not? Because energetically as a collective we're being pushed to stop thinking like that where we're just going based off the physical you know because that's what coin energy is about it's about the physical the results that we really want you know um in our lives the money that we really get is the, is the money that you're earning is it really helping you gain true stability or not that's what I'm getting right now. Um, then I, I was pulled to find this voice. Express yourself. Open up and sing out. That kind of goes back to what I was saying as far as my example. Where, with um, my kids playing hide and seek outside. Um, and they're counting right now. Uh, with, ex with understanding how you are. When I see express yourself. It kind of brings me back to when I was talking about our senses. Like we have our higher senses, which is our clears. And then we have our more mediocre, simple, limited understanding of senses, which is our the physical ones. We actually, um, what we physically see, what we physically hear, what we physically um, feel like in touch and as well as emotionally. Like, are you, are they in alignment? That's what I'm getting. Like, are they in alignment? Are you taking accountability for your emotional states of being to in order to transcend out of um, not just a situation just because this is what you're experiencing right now, but to actually in totality and thoroughly transition the way you as as an intergalactic soul came here to experience in physical form to really transmute this energy out of you you know that's in you you know because pluto pluto because bringing it back to the fact that this is ruled this day is ruled by scorpio energy pluto scorpio is ruled by pluto and pluto is all about destruction and not just any old destruction generational destruction of the underworlds catch my vibes and it's all and pluto energy is all about wealth so in order to actually gain the wealth that you truly seek, not just in physical sense, but just in your energy, meaning because at the end of the day, all of us seek to have internal, eternal peace. Nobody likes going through hardships at all, period. And you and stuff, but you have to understand the energies that surround you and that's within you and your season that you're in in order to actually transcend. That's what I'm getting with today. And those the type of plans and mindsets that this Tuesday, June 13th, as far as your health and your habits, that's what I'm getting is trying to, um, like us as a collective, the energy and stuff is trying to get us to start embarking on. All right, that's it. I'm tapped out. <laughs> that's all I got for the energy for the day. I hope that has helped you in some type of way, shape or form, friend, to motivate you and to help you understand self a lot more clearly and thoroughly. As always, remember that you are the creator of your life. Nothing shakes, rattles, and rolls unless you say so energetically. Not just physically, you mean verbally, but you have to also align with it within your energy, which is what you do once you, excuse me, understand your mental state of being as well as your emotional states of being as to why, you know, um, you get what you get when you get it, no matter what it is, you know, good or bad, stable or unstable. 
blessed so i will see you in the astral realms don't forget to love on yourself a little bit more today so you can bring in some more peace some more clarity also don't forget to tell yourself that i am irrefutable bka i'm impossible to deny i will see you in the astral realms or in the next video bye